If you are just launching a new WordPress site and want Google to start crawling it, there are generally only a couple things that need to be done. First, make sure that you aren't preventing Google from crawling and indexing your site. The robots.txt file can set a command to prevent indexing. Check out the robots.txt file in the root of your website. Another place to check is in the reading settings in WordPress. To get there, go to settings, then reading. Be sure that discourage search engines from indexing the site is unchecked. Some hosts that auto-install WordPress will check that box during setup, so it's up to you to manually uncheck it when you're ready for traffic. If you do have to uncheck it, make sure to click on the Save Changes button. Next, you can quickly check to see if your site is already indexed in Google. To check, visit google.com and in the search box type site colon yourdomain.com. If the results say something like your search did not match any documents, then follow along with the steps below. However, if pages and links do show up, you are already indexed. Just keep adding content to your site and get links from other sites. Now moving along, to get Google to crawl and index your site, first verify your site in Google Search Console. Next, submit your sitemap to Google. Then, request for Google to crawl and index your site. At this point, I'll include a video that covers verifying your site in Google Search Console and submitting a sitemap. First though, be sure that you have a Google account, such as a YouTube or Gmail account. The approach in the video uses the Jetpack plugin for verification as well as for creation of the XML sitemap. Adding your website to the Google Search Console will allow you to monitor your site's performance in Google search results. You can also see how Google sees your site, including your site's relevance for rich cards and accelerated mobile pages. In this tutorial, you will see how to set up Jetpack and connect it to your WordPress.com account how to activate the XML sitemap feature in Jetpack, how to add your website to the Google Search Console, how to set the preferred domain and optionally country for your website, and how to submit the Jetpack XML sitemap for your site to Google. Before you move on, please be sure that you have a Google account. Having a Gmail email address is sufficient. We'll be adding the Jetpack XML sitemap to your WordPress site. So please be sure that Jetpack is installed and connected to your WordPress.com account. Jetpack extends the abilities of a hosted WordPress.com website, and many of its features are reliant on the WordPress.com servers. We have the ability to use Jetpack on our self-hosted WordPress websites using the Jetpack plugin, but we must connect our site to a WordPress.com account to open up its many features. Let's go through those steps quickly right now. First, point your web browser to wordpress.com slash start slash account slash user. This will allow you to create an account without having to also create a wordpress.com website. Fill in the registration form with an email address, username, and password. Click the Create My Account button. Click the Confirm Now button in your email to activate your WordPress.com account. Now, back inside your self-hosted WordPress dashboard, click on Plugins and then Add New to install Jetpack. You should see Jetpack by WordPress.com right away in the Featured section. Otherwise, do a quick search for Jetpack by WordPress.com. Then, click on Install Now and then Activate. Now, click the Connect to WordPress.com button. You should already be logged into your WordPress.com account from the previous steps. Authorize your website with your WordPress.com account by clicking the Approve button. For now, click on the Select Free button to move along with this tutorial. The Jetpack Settings menu should now be available for you within the WordPress dashboard of your self-hosted website. Here's how to activate the XML sitemap feature in Jetpack. From within your WordPress dashboard, click on Jetpack, then Settings. Click the Engagement link from across the top of the page. Slide the slider next to Sitemaps to activate it. You may also need to go to Settings, then Reading to make sure that the Discourage Search Engines from Indexing the Site option is unchecked. That's an important step to ensure Google will crawl your site and crawl the sitemap. If you do make this change, be sure to click the Save Changes button. 
Here's how to add your website to the Google Search Console. First, log into your Google account or Gmail. Then point your browser to google.com slash webmasters slash tools slash home. Type or paste in the URL to your home page next to the box that says website. Then click the add a property button. Click the HTML tag radio button. Click on the meta tag to highlight it and copy it to the clipboard. Go back to your WordPress dashboard in the new tab or window. Click Jetpack, then Settings. Click the Engagement link from across the top of the page. Slide the slider next to Site Verification to activate it. Click the down arrow. In the Google box, paste in the meta tag you copied from the Google Search Console. Remove everything from the tag except for what is within the quotes of the content parameter. Scroll down and click on the Save Settings button. Go back to the Google Search Console. Click the Verify button. You may need to wait several minutes if you see a verification failed message. Once you see the congratulations message, click on the continue link. At this point, if you continue to see verification failed when trying the meta tag verification, if you're comfortable with FTP, you could try the HTML file upload verification method instead. Be sure to repeat the previous steps for all versions of your website. You may or may not have them all, depends if you have SSL attached to your domain or not. At a minimum though, Add the www and non www http versions. When repeating the above steps, there will be no need to re add the meta tag, as it is already there. The different versions of your site might include https colon slash slash www.example.com, https colon slash slash example.com, http colon slash slash www.example.com and http colon slash slash example.com. You will set your preferred version next. Here's how to set the preferred domain and optionally country for your website. You should still be logged into the Google Search Console from the previous steps. If not, log into the dashboard now. Your site should be listed in the drop down at the top right. Click the gear icon at the top, then click Site Settings. Choose whether you want www or non www as your preferred domain. Click the Save button. Optionally, to specify a target country for your website, from the left side, click Search Traffic, then International Targeting. Click the Country tab on the right side of the page. Put a check in the box, select the country, and click Save. Now here's how to submit the Jetpack XML sitemap to, for your site to Google. The Jetpack XML feature was activated earlier. Now we just have to tell Google about the location. With your website chosen in the list at the top right, click the Crawl link, then Sitemaps from the left side. Click the Add slash Test sitemap button. In the text box, type sitemap.xml. Click the Submit button, and that's it. Now, with your site verified within Google Search Console, log back in to the Search Console. Click on the name or thumbnail of the preferred version of your website. From the left side, click on Crawl, then click on Fetch as Google. Click the Fetch button. When complete, click on the Request Indexing button. Click the I'm Not a Robot checkbox. Choose the option Crawl this URL and its direct links and click the Go button. Now, check back tomorrow or the next day by doing a search in Google for site colon yourdomain.com to see if it's indexed.